Hello everyone, welcome to this course on indoor air pollution, sources, effects, monitoring, control and modeling. I am uh, Asif Qureshi, I am an associate professor in the department of civil engineering at IIT Hyderabad. So this is a three credit course running over 12 weeks. This can be useful for PG students as well as uh, senior UG students working professionals in the field of environmental engineering and air pollution and its control, scientists, uh, I would say especially junior scientists and engineers, people with non-engineering background such as executives of private uh, industries, uh, government bodies who are dealing with or are interested in air pollution and control, uh, regulators and policy makers from ministry and other professional and governmental bodies may also find this course useful. Practicing professionals as well as those preparing for GATE, this course is also useful. In this course, we will cover several aspects related to air pollution, such as the common indoor air pollutants, the sources of air pollution, the methods to estimate emissions. Then the methods to conceptualize the indoor air pollution problem uh, more specifically using mass balance models. We will look at the concept of residence time, losses and lifetimes. Then we will look at the indoor air, outdoor air relation. Uh, for example, outdoor air as the source to indoor air pollution, the indoor outdoor relationship, air exchanges and ventilation rates. We will look at particulate matter, uh, basically these aerosols, uh, the basics and the sources of this particulate matter and processes that influence their fate in the indoor environment such as deposition, coagulation, uh, condensation. After the particulate matter, the physical pollutant, we will look at the chemical pollutants in a way by looking at the indoor air chemistry, the pollutants, the reactions and fate and then after covering the physical and chemical pollutants, we will look at the biological pollutants such as this uh, bioaerosols, the sources of bioaerosols, the factors that control their existence in the indoor air and the health impacts. Then after uh, addressing the physical, chemical and biological uh, air pollutants, we will go to the indoor air exposure risk assessment in terms of the dose of these pollutants and the non-cancer and cancer risk and we will briefly look at the uh, quantitative microbial risk assessment as well. After this part, we will move on to the monitoring aspects of physical, uh, physical chemical pollutants, uh, their sampling and the instrumentation associated with it and bioaerosols sampling and instrumentation associated with it. So we will cover the physical, chemical and biological aspects, uh, uh, biological pollutants in several aspects. After that, we will look at some case studies uh, specifically in the Indian context and mention some overviews and gaps. Um, then we will have two uh, weeks on indoor air quality guidelines and control methods and there will be an introduction to an open source model CONTAM and finally uh, we will again look at some effort effects of uh, indoor air quality related pollution uh, more specifically the sick building syndrome and then we will look at the methods for control and design in a, in a computational sense using the quantum mathematical model in that uh, we will use simple scenarios to assess uh, how we can improve the indoor air quality using one or two uh, specific air pollutants. There are several books related to this, uh, uh, this uh, topics and some of them are already listed here which would be good for referencing and further studies and of course the student is free to pick up any other uh, book for its uh, for their study. There will be total of 12 assignments containing both objective and uh, sometimes descriptive questions. 
for final scoring uh, best 9 out of 12 assignments will be considered the assignments will have 25 percent weightage and the exam will have 75 percent weightage so uh, this is sort of a snapshot of the whole uh, course how it has been designed uh, assignments and exam are important also important is to uh, look at this uh, course as a means of learning becoming more aware and learning more the basics and some applied aspects of the indoor air quality problem uh, whether be it physical uh, or chemical or biological so it is hoped that the student will be able to uh, appreciate and learn about these problems and will be motivated to take up this topic even more uh, further.